Take five. Oh, Micah, you so rock. Jade, Achoo! your cat is so styling. And so perfect for my article on what your pet says about you. Achoo! Sorry, guys. Achoo! I've got to run before my allergies turn my face into a big red swollen ball, and I'm blinded by my watery eyes and... and Bye, Bye, Chloe. Chloe. Next up, fine dining shoot. We can't. Chachi still isn't here with Micah's silver platter and matching dinner chair. What to Chachi? The owner of a gourmet pet food company. He's launching a new line of fancy designer pet accessories and wants to be featured in our magazine. <laughs> Just for pets? Sounds a little out there. And I suppose you would eat your meals with a plastic fork? <laughs> oh, you brute. <laughs> Sterling silver and monogrammed. Super styling. Let's do it. Tony <laughs> Hill. Oh, fabulous, Tony. Now, you remember that next week for the annual pet show. Hey, I read about that. Dogs and cats are competing against one another this year for the first time. You should enter my cool cat. The winner gets $5,000. Wow! You could give it to my pet rescue group. Wow, I guess I could. Don't count on it. No mere animal will trump my Joni this year. <laughs> oh, you're just too cute, won't you? That's right. Oh, look at your little face. We've just got to beat Chachi and his miserable little mutt this year again. Especially after last year, so help me mother a pink. So, on behalf of Your Thing magazine, of which I am founder, president, and editor, and reigning queen of fashion, I rightfully accept Royale's much-deserved award of first place. <gasps> mother of pink! Now, Joni, you stop that. You fabulous doggy. Like no prob, right? Royals won the last three years in a row. This time, it won't be so easy. The judges are new, so I might not be able to bribe them. That is, like, so unfair! I want you to catnap that bratsy feline at once and keep it until the show is over. They've just left for lunch. Get it now! Chop, chop! Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Yikes, City will, like, never get her down from there. Wow, check out all this neat stuff. They've got, like, their own photography studio here. Whoops. Come on and get her. Accident. No way, pretty princess. My cat does not make mistakes. Hey, where is she? Here, Micah. Micah? Micah? Hey, my allergy. It's gone. So is my Micah! <laughs> We've just got to find her. Cool cat, don't worry. We're going to find her. Oh my gosh, look. 
Look at all these poor missing pets, so far away from home, separated from their mommies and daddies, and wondering if they'll ever see their owner's smiling faces again. Oh, the pain, the heartbreak. Weird, what gives? Guys, that was Amy from my pet rescue group. Jade, don't freak, but Amy says there's been a ton of pet nappings recently. Oh no, what if they got Micah? What if she's in some dark pay? No jumping to conclusions. Micah's stalling. She's probably hanging with some tomcat. I've got to warn Chachi. Hi, it's Jade. Look, there's been a bunch of pet nappings, and now Mike is missing and... What? Oh no! I am so sorry! I will. Bye. Joni's missing too! <laughs> what if I never see Micah again? should have let Micah out of my sight with all of these catnappings going on. Cool Cat, it's not your fault. You didn't know. Come on, let's check the pound again. Kirsty, where do you think they get that saying, fight like cats and dogs? Hmm, I think it's because dogs and cats, like, fight so much. Really? <gasps> let's see. Dog. Your thing magazine. Quit wasting time and get down here and fix my flat. Chop chop. Or you're both fired. Make it well, well worth your while. That's not just a flat. Somebody slashed your tire. All done. Here's your reward. Come on, girls. That's it? A copy of your thing magazine? Think, Angel, think! What did he look like? Um, kind of creepy. I mean, he was wearing these mirror sunglasses and dark hair and... Oh, cool cat, I wish I could describe him better. I know he got a good look at me. 
Oh no, what if he decides to come after me? I'll have to join the witness protection program and change my name to Rhonda and dye my hair an icky color and... Angel, you're gonna be fine. Uh... Oh no, he's coming to get me! Ah! He's gone, he's gone, my darling royal! You rotten little brats. Give me back my royal at once. What are you talking about? Don't give me that. My girls put him in the cage with that horrible cat of yours. I mean... You stole my mica? Give him back! Jade! I didn't steal her, I just barred her. Now give me my dog! Give me my cat! I don't have her! I don't have him! Liar! Thief! Chill, people! Someone else grabbed Royale and Micah! It's true! I saw the guy who took them! Micah's charm fell out of the cage when I was chasing him! Both your pets have been pet-napped! <laughs> I love him more than anything in this world. Even myself. I've had my Micah ever since she was a tiny kitten. She's seen me through everything. Minis, platform boots, the corduroy craze. She's my best accessory. She sleeps on my bed every night and nuzzles my face. I'd do anything to see Royale's wagging little tail. Hear the sound of his pointy teeth as they gnash Casey's nose. We've got to find them. What are we waiting for? Jump, jump. Uh, you two are going to work together? Since our animals were stolen together. You know, the people who made this pet blanket might have a customer list. Unfortunately, their logo must be on the half that's missing. High-end pet accessory. I bet Chachi knows who makes it. Let's show it to him. Bertine, can you drive any faster? Every second counts! How dare you tell me how to drive? This is my car, and you will do as I say. Hey, I don't work for you anymore, remember? Spare me your excuses. You are fired. Fired! Fired! You will do as I say anyway. Later! And let you scoop your thing on my Daring Pet Rescue exclusive? I don't think so! All right, fine! But we do it my way! <laughs> oh, my little Tony would just love this blanket. If only I knew where to find one. And her. Oh, I so wish I could help. I want to get that horrible, horrible Mr. Pet Napper as much as you it's do. It's okay, Chachi. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> This bed is so plush. I can tell you really care. I do. I do. <laughs> well, call us if you hear anything. I will. Just as I predicted, that was a total waste of my time. Number one, Jonie's not missing. His doggy bed was warm. Two, he knows who made the pet blanket because he owns several of them. Three, I found these on the floor. <gasps> Royal! Chachi is the pet <gasps> the napper! The pet napper! Let's go around the back. Maybe if we put up more posters. Guys, I just got a message from Jade. Chachi's the pet napper! Oh my gosh, knowing Jade, she'll go in on her own. I gotta get over there. I'm getting the police. Here we go, come on. This place is filthy. I'd fire the cleaning crew if I were Chachi. What's this? Turn on the light, someone's in here.
Oh, Mummy thought she'd never see her little honey wonny ever again. No, she didn't. Oh, she loves you so much. Hello, ladies. So nice of you to drop in so soon. Why, Chachi? Unfortunately, no one is buying my fabulous new line of pet accessories, and I must win the pet show to promote it. So, I hired someone to kidnap Julie's competition. Sorry, but you two are dead meat. Or, more precisely, dog meat. You're going to take a little trip through my food processor. And voila! It's off the shelves in the pet food section. Mmm, yum, yum. Who's chopped liver? Help, Cameron! Help! Gee, hang on! Help! Come on! Grab my hand! <laughs> yes. oh, Cameron! I'm all right. <gasps> Jay, Ken! Now who's dog food? was like able to bribe all the judges again this year? Uh, I know, she's such a people person. Next up, Jade and her cat, Micah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever seen anything like this before? Excellent, excellent routine. And now, a word from our finalist. Ladies, if you win, what will you do with $5,000 prize money? I'm going to donate all my winnings to my friend Yasmin's animal rescue group, the Pet Protectors. And Miss Maxwell? I'm going to buy hundreds of pairs of new pink pumps. <laughs> I mean, donate my reward to that pet rescue thing. And the winner is... Huh? I can't believe it! Verdine Maxwell and Royale. It, there's gotta be a mistake! What? Thank you for coming to the obvious conclusion. <laughs> hey, that check's made out to some charity, not me. But you said you'd donate the money if you won. <gasps> Jade and Micah. Smile, cool cat. Micah only won second place. But what matters is that Yasmin's animal rescue group got the prize money. And Brat's Matt got a rockin' article what your pet says about you. It just goes to show that even the worst of enemies can sometimes work together for a worthy cause. Let's hope it's only once. <laughs> okay, people, listen up. Time for the number one rockin' sleepover activity. Time to play... Truth or Dare! Okay, Sasha, you first. Truth or dare? What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Truth. That's easy. Remember the time I announced the school dance competition? Listen up, people. We're gonna have a scorching dance competition next week. So get moving and grooving, put a zip in your hip, and glide in your stride. Oh. <gasps> Not cool. 
I'll never live that down. Yasmin, your turn. Truth or dare, how many boys have you ever kissed? No way, that's a secret between me and my diary. Dare, dare, dare! I got one. Okay, pretty princess, I dare you to go to the mall in your PJs, run up to Eaton, and ask him for a great big kiss. Eaton! Will you give me a great big... Smoothie? Not hot. I chickened out. Yasmin! Okay, Chloe, truth or dare? If we were in a burning building and you could only rescue one of us, who would it be? Uh, there's no way I'm gonna answer that. Then you have to do a dare. Are you sure this is the number one rock in a sleepover activity? Chloe! Fine, dare. Hmm, let me see. I dare you to... No way! Come on, Angel, answer the question. My name is Chloe! And I have a crush on Cameron! And I have a crush on Cameron! And I have a crush on Cameron! Uh, me too! <laughs> Tweedles! Not cool! I thought you guys went home. Uh, we like changed our minds. Gee, Chloe, I can't believe you like told the whole world that. Well, it's only kinda true. We're playing Truth or Dare and Sasha made me say it. <gasps> Can we play? Pretty, oh, pretty please. please! Okay, fine. But only if you two behave. Okay, Kirsty. What's the super meanest thing you ever done to Casey? That's like so easy. It was a time I put like hair remover in her shampoo and she went bald. Uh, you did that? It took like forever for my hair to grow back. I like so hate you. I like so hate you more. Would you guys break it up? Stop it okay. now. Get off, get off of her. Hey, remember no blood on the carpet. My mother will kill me. Last warning! Behave or you two are out of here. For good. <laughs> Casey, truth or dare? How many nose jobs have you had? Uh, dare? Like, tell us about what your next Bratz magazine is about. Aww. Okay, so you fashion freaks have to, like, do a dare. Yeah. 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 Do something, like, adventurous with Casey? Wait, you mean together? Yeah. How come I have to do a dare? Because I'm the one who, like, made them up, Dipwad. Drive Cameron's motorcycle? Have you lost it? Cameron would lick his tires before he'd let someone ride his bike. I have to teach Kirsty how to dance? Ugh, this game bites. Neato! Guys really like girls who can dance, so I'm gonna be, like, so popular. This is so not gonna be pretty. Get a picture of Verdine without her makeup! Ew! So I got this stuff that's been on all the major news shows. Lady Marvel Face, the makeup remover. Guaranteed to take off your makeup and all your ugly old wrinkles. For Dean won't be able to resist. Well, I'm making a list of reasons Cameron should let me ride his motorcycle. Number 34, everyone should experience the thrill of picking bugs out of their teeth at least once. Um, maybe you should stop at 33. 
I've always wanted my hair to smell like pipe exhaust. Hey! What are you doing in Bardeen's car? Uh, she sent me out to look for pink windscreen wipers, but I couldn't find any. Hey, get in! We can, like, talk about our adventure dare! What about we do that thing where people hang from ropes? No bungee jumping. Hey, look out! I know. Let's jump off a mountain in one of those kite thingies. No! Nothing that involves my feet leaving the ground. Oh my gosh, what shit! <gasps> what about a desert survival? What about me surviving right now? Pull over! Okay, listen, let's just do... Look! Rockin' Rock Climbing Adventures. All skill levels try our super easy beginner's course. Neato, let's drive over and sign up. Can't we just... Whoa! Yeah, oh yeah. Attention! I am trying to teach you something here. Whatever. Okay, we're gonna start with the funky puppet. Now watch. I can do that. I've got rhythm. Not cool. You gotta put your whole body into it. Get into the beat. You know, some people find it easier to dance if they move their feet. I'm dancing! I'm like a rapper! <gasps> like, sorry! <sighs> okay, again. Maybe we should start with something simpler. Hey, Cameron. Looks awesome. Can I help? Hey, what are you doing? No, 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 no. You, you can't polish a fender with the seat rag. That's like using vinyl touch-up spray to restore rubber tires. What was I thinking? It's just that I love this bike. Huh? You hate motorcycles. You're always ranting about how they're nothing but noisy, polluted death traps that should be banned from the planet. Except this one, it's so, um, styling. I have the urge to get on it and go for a ride. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, no way. No one rides my bike. Not even if I gave you 50 good reasons why you should let me? Huh? Forget all those other dances. We're gonna try the robot. Nifty! Like, how do you do it? You just bend your elbows and hold your arms all stiff and move them real jerky like a robot. Watch. Hi, Jade. Look at me. I'm, like, dancing. Hey, watch it! You could have hurt somebody. I'm getting out of here. I only came for the camera. Not cool. I uh, gotta go. Wait, wait, we were just. I was only. How do I look? I'll be straight with you. You're showing every ounce of your talent. Thanks! Ever hear of a dance called head and shoulder, knees and toes? 
Yeah, I love that dance. It brings back all these neato memories of eighth grade. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, Eyes and ears, ears and, and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Mother of Pink, where are my interns? The reigning queen of fashion does not answer her own door. And what are you doing here? The mail carrier made a mistake and left this at our door. A package for me! You may go now. To your thing magazine with our compliments. Yes! A freebie. <gasps> Lady Marvel Face, oh, I've heard about this. It's the makeup remover that takes 10 years off your face. Oh my gosh, this is too hard. I can't go on, I'm like gonna die. Ah, mommy. Come on, Casey, you can do it. We're gonna make it to the top. Go higher than anyone's ever gone before. Set a record. Show the world that you can climb every mountain and still be super styling. We'll be in all the magazines, maybe even on the news. Oh, so we're gonna be like, famous? Yes! Come on, Casey, let's go for it. Reason number 46 why you should let me ride. If all the world's leaders went for a ride together, there'd be no more wars. Uh, look, Yasmin, you've never even sat on a bike before. That's not true. Watch. See? I know my way around a bike. I can even make the noise. Vroom, vroom! Ah! Ah, 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 ah! Turn off the engine! Turn off the engine! I can't! I can't! I don't know how! Help me! Just turn the keys! Switch it off! Save me! Oh my gosh! Ah! I'm gonna die! Ten years younger, my pumps. Oh, this is a ridiculous waste of my valuable time. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rub harder. Huh. Ow. Oh! <laughs> my skin! It's red! Oh, mother of pink! I'm allergic! <gasps> what was that? The flash! I forgot to turn it off! Who is in there? I demand you show your face at once! <laughs> Come back, you! You! Paparazzo! You ungrateful fire intern! Good thing looks can't kill. Maybe I spoke too soon? the ledge and rest there! Oh, what, like, a neato idea! <gasps> no, I can't. What if there's an avalanche? Oh, that is so unlikely. <coughs> you treacherous little brats, girl! You come back here and give me that camera. Help! It's going to blow up! Oh, I hate these things! Don't make any sudden moves! 
movements, okay? If anything happens to my bike... Oh, thank you! Thank you for saving my life! Yasmin, you don't have to shout anymore! The engine's off! What? You don't have to... Here, let me help you off. I really thought that was it. I saw my whole life go down the drain. Oh, Cameron. Oh, you poor, poor baby. I thought I was never gonna see you again in one piece. Oh. Um. I can't... I can't climb any higher. Me neither. We're gonna have to turn around and climb down. Climb down? I can't climb down. To climb down, I will have to look down, and if I look down, I will lose my grip and fall! But we can't stay here. It'll be dark soon, and we won't be able to see anything but these creepy eyes staring at us. And then I'll feel something nibbling on my ankle, and that something will be... the abominable snowman! Ah! Help! 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 He's after us! Help! Hey, I just got a reader letter from Dana. Awesome. Dear Chloe, hope you're running for president again this year. Styles High needs someone who is smart, caring, and styling like you. Love your fan, Dana. <laughs> Chloe. <gasps> I know, I know, I can't have everything. Dear Dana, I'd love to, but with keeping up my grades and all my mag responsibilities, I'm way too busy to run this year. Hi, I'm Kirsty. And I'm Casey. <laughs> We're, like, running for president and vice president of Styles High, and we, like, totally want your vote. Since when do the Tweedles care about Styles High? Since, like, never! Hi there! Hi, guy! I, like, so like your shirt. <laughs> There's, like, nothing we love more than the way our fellow students look. Totally! And to prove it, our daddy will give free nose jobs to everyone. So vote for us, and we'll, like, fight for you every day. Hey, that was my line! Uh-uh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Woefully amateurish, but I suppose it gets the point across. What on earth are you girls doing? <laughs> Trying to burn some calories? The camera adds 10 pounds! And they use, like, two cameras on our commercial, so that's a, a total of 20 pounds. You mindless morons. Start passing out bumper stickers so that you two can win the election and squash the brats once and for all. Now, chop chop. <laughs> I'm Dylan, and I'm here to turn this school around. Cut! Get it? 360, turn the school around? The only thing that slogan turns is my stomach. Ready, action. I'm supposed to say that. So vote for the hottest, sexiest, and most styling candidate on the ballot. Dylan, the man with the plan. What's your plan, anyway? Use my office to get more chicks. So, dude, what's our next order of business? Uh, ask Chloe to be your running mate. <laughs> yeah, right. Good luck. I know she's got more experience with student government than me, but she's got to say yes. I mean, who can resist the Dylan charm? Don't answer that. Anyway, I've got an excellent shot at press, and not just because I'm the only one running. Uh, a little help here? our commercial. Unfortunately. So, what will you do if you're elected? Um, like presidential stuff. Hey, old birthdays. I mean, Verdine never told us we'd actually have to do stuff if we won. Casey, shut nay, up nay. Verdine? What does she have to do with this? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing.
Majorly major. If anyone has a problem, speak now or forever hold your peace. Yo, then what are you standing around for? As your new campaign manager, I say move those angel feet and sign up. Speechwriter. Image consultant, go. Okay. Campaign rule number one. You gotta have a great team in place. Sweet. Hey, Chloe, got a sec? Can't deal right now. Phew. Just made it. <sighs> Sorry, Dylan. Okay, what's up? I was gonna ask you to run as my vice president instead of running against me. Uh-oh. The plot just thickened. <laughs> How much longer are we gonna have to be nice to people? Until we, like, win, you bonehead. But all this smiling is, like, so totally exhausting. Okay, guys, let's hit it! Chloe's got the smarts, Chloe's got the heart. Chloe is the candidate who set the school apart. Vote Chloe, vote Chloe, vote Chloe! Campaign rule number two. Just because it's politics doesn't mean it can't be fun. Guys, rock! With all your help, this will be a walk down the runway. One more time! Chloe's got the smarts, Chloe's got the heart. Chloe is the candidate who'll set the school apart. Casey! Like, what are you doing? Cheering for Chloe. I, like, so always wanted to be a cheerleader. <gasps> you couldn't cheer your way out of a paper bag! Well, you couldn't cheer your way out of a... Um, uh... <laughs> oh. We better, like, tell Berdine about this. Mother of pink! She isn't. She it is. I hate democracy. Very well, I can deal with a little competition. Girls, it's time for you to get ugly. Neo! <laughs> you nincompoops. Let me tell you 
all how I'm gonna cast my vote. I'm going with the candidate who really rocked the boat. So if you wanna change the school and shake the status quo, Chloe is the only name you'll ever need to know. Wow, that's cool. All right. Cute little cheer, guys. Gee, glad you approve. Look, Chloe, you're my friend, and I care about you. I don't want to see you humiliated. Excuse me? Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to spare you the nightmare of a landslide defeat by letting you hop on board my winning team as VP. Sorry, Dylan. Not a chance. Fine. Have it your way. And may the best man win. Hey, thanks. And I do mean man. <laughs> hey, Chloe. Can we ask you some questions? You know, like candidate to candidate? Uh, sure. So, like, what's some of the stuff you'd do if you became, like, president? Well, I'd raise money for new computers, a better science lab, and uh, style in new gym uniforms. Then I'd show everyone... Well, who cares about that junk? Excuse me? That junk happens to be important. Students aren't just gonna... Yeah, yeah. What would you, like, do for the students? Well, one of my mottos is express yourself. So I would make sure everyone has a say in student government. Oh, fascinating. Go on. Yeah, I mean, you see, it's not just about me. I want to win so I can make the school a better place for everyone else. What's this for? Well, that ought to do it. Thanks for sharing. Like, why do you think Berdine wanted us to do this interview? And sure, my opponent Chloe may seem nice. I mean, we've all seen her help old ladies cross the street. But what happens to them after she gets them to the other side? Nothing! He's she way behind in the polls. He thinks doing an attack ad will help his numbers. So I ask you, my fellow students, does this look like the face of a candidate you can trust? Well... Boo! 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 Dude, this was the most untrustworthy photo you could find? Oh, you know what, Dee? I don't want to do attack ads. Find another director. I'm voting for Chloe. fault. Attention! Attention! Me and Casey have a new Neato commercial to show you. This will be nasty. Students aren't important. What's important is me. I want to win so I can show I'm better than everyone else. Opinions depicted were edited for clarity. Paid for by students for a pinker tomorrow. <laughs> well, what do you think? I think you better get ready to get your butt kicked. Because my girl Chloe isn't going to take this line down. Are you, Chloe? Chloe? I just want to lie down and pull the covers up over my head and drink my mother's chicken noodle soup and never run for anything ever again. OK, here's what we do. Counterattack. We'll expose the ad for what it is. A cheap, dirty trick and launch an assault of our own. Already wrote a speech for Chloe to give saying that the Tweebles lied. I'm working on a campaign highlighting Chloe's charity work. Self-interested egomaniacs do not volunteer in soup lines. There's our girl. Chloe! Chill! We haven't even begun to fight back! Oh, Sasha, it's no use. I just cannot go on like this. The whole school hates me. And I've never been really hated before. I mean, except by Berdine. I'm a total outcast. I might as well grow a wart on my chin and move to a cobblestone hut in some medieval village where the angry villagers can pelt me with sticks and stones. Chloe, come on. We're your team. We'll get you through this. We've already planned your comeback. You can't let the Tweebles get away with this. It's not fair to you or the school. Sorry, guys, but it's too late. I've already resigned. But Chloe!
scene you're in. I've seen the future girls, and it's coming up pink. carried away. I mean, you should have, like, seen Chloe's face when we played your anti-Chloe commercial. <laughs> yeah! And she was like... Ah. Yeah! She was like... It doesn't matter! What matters is that my plan is working. So, like, what is your plan? Once you're in office, your first order of business is to provide free copies of Your Thing magazine to everyone and ban brats from the premises. Oh, <laughs> and that's just for starters. That's genius! Oh, by the time I'm done, your thing will have completely captured the ever-elusive youth market. And those little brats and their rag of a magazine will be finished once and for all. Oh, my gosh! <sighs> I'm back! We can see that. I mean, I'm back in the race. Verdine and the Tweevil set us up. There's no time to explain. Team, we've got some major work to do. Yes! <laughs> Brainstorm alert. Let's run together as co-presidents. Really? Yeah, come on. We have work to do. Uh, one problemo. Last night, I realized that you actually care about the issues, and I was only running for selfish reasons, like impressing chicks. Important reasons, but selfish ones. So I was... Do not say you dropped out of the election. Only a loser would drop out. Phew! I resigned. <laughs> so here's what we gotta do. Collect 100 signatures to get Chloe's name back on the ballot. Figure out a way to show everyone the Tweevil's commercial was a fake. And come up with one killer speech to give at the debates. And we've got three hours to do it. I want to win so I can Usually show Usually commercials everyone. bore me, but I never get tired of this one. <laughs> We'll destroy Chloe and her goody two shoes reputation so that she'll never run for anything ever again. Yeah! Well, I was like really looking forward to the debate, and I was like gonna give this big speech and be all vote for me and stuff, but since like I'm running unopposed, why bother? Uh, excuse me, excuse me. May I have your attention, please? Eaton. If you would be so kind as to roll the tape, this is the dark force behind the Tweevil's campaign. We'll destroy Chloe and her goody two shoes reputation so that she'll never run for anything ever again. Yeah! <laughs> Sasha? Photoshop. Oh Stop the tape. We don't need to stoop to their level, Kirsty. Let's debate. First question from the audience, please. Uh, Chloe, what's the biggest problem facing Styles High today? Lack of funds. We need to raise money to update our labs, our libraries, and our school uniforms. <laughs> Kirsty, your turn. <gasps> like, the lighting in the girls' bathroom is, like, so totally bad. I mean, like, yesterday I was trying to apply my lip liner, and it, like, came out all crooked. <gasps> she looked like such an idiot. You're, like, calling me an idiot? You're so dumb, you thought you had to have a vice to be vice president! I mean, other than nose-picking. You know, I really care about the future of Styles High, and I believe that you deserve a class president who will do what's best for you and the school, who's not afraid to take a stand, who won't back down from a fight, even if it makes her unpopular. Campaign rule number four, practice what you preach. In conclusion, you don't need a crystal ball to see a style in future. You just need to vote for me. Thank you. Yeah! Chloe's got the smarts. Chloe's got the heart. 
Chloe is a candidate who set the school apart. Vote Chloe! Vote Chloe! Vote Chloe! Vote Chloe, I want to run for president of Styles High next year. Can you tell me what it takes? Love your number one fan, Dana. Dear Dana, it takes believing in yourself and putting the needs of others before your own. And don't forget a scorching team and a super styling running mate. Let's party! So that's how it happened. If you want to know more, check out my article in the latest issue of Bratz. It's called, How to Run for School President. Rockin'! I got all my stuff back. I mean, except my allowance. Guess I won't be shopping at the mall for a while. That's awful. Man, no way would I have let that dude get away. I would have pounded his face into the ground. Hey, Yasmin just didn't let the guy get away. She was on it. Hi, everyone. I've got a special announcement to make. As your reigning school president, I'm declaring this Styles High's very first It's Not About Me week. Gag me. Go, Chloe! <laughs> <coughs> hey! So, I want everyone to reach out to someone else and do something awesome to help them. Let's make a really rocking difference in the lives of others. Bring sunshine where there's rain, hope where there's despair, and styling platforms where there are icky old sneakers. So, guys, what do you think of my idea? Styling, scorching, jamming, hot! I already know what I'm gonna do. Teach Yasmin karate so she can beat up muggers. Thanks, I'll pass. Deal, what do you know about karate anyway? Uh, excuse me? I've only seen about 50 Bruce Lee movies. Hi -ya! Uh! Not cool. Rock, hey, how's it going? Uh, those are some stomach muscles you got there. Uh, you could be a, um, linebacker or, or a wall. I'm gonna squash you like a bug. <laughs> oh, God. Come, come oh. over here. Oh, man. What a... Rock, he didn't mean to hit you. Stop. Oh, yeah? Who's gonna make me? Look, I'm warning you. You're warning me. Huh, what a joke. Out of play. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, I've seen every Bruce Lee movie, too. Rock, I'm sorry, but I did try to warn you. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, you are dead meat. As soon as I can walk again. So, I'm volunteering at K-Nice Radio's Teen Hotline, and I start tonight. <laughs> cool, I'm doing double duty at my pet rescue group. Yeah? Well, you guys are lucky. I gotta teach the worst student in driver's ed to drive. Request of the principal. Ooh, that's so bites. So, what's your project, Cool Cat? No hairstyle and nothing. No toe ring and nothing. He still won't even look at me. What's wrong with me? I think I just found it. Roberta! Roberta! How can I get him to ask me out? Maybe if I got a new tattoo. I don't think so. Even if I made it a rat? Um, no. Hey, how about a makeover? 
You could be my project for It's Not About Me Week. Chloe, hey! Oh, pretty princess, you are so not going to believe who I have to work the teen hotline with. I can't believe I, like, have to do this lame -o job with you. Okay, girls, this is it. You know what to do. I'm Mike Kirsty, And I'm Chloe. Welcome to Teen Hotline. Let's hear from our very first caller. Hi. How can we help? I just found out my boyfriend's been cheating on me with my best friend. Oh, that's terrible. How could they do that to you? You must be so hurt and confused. Oh, the pain, the suffering. Oh, wah. Get me a violin. You deserve so, so much better. Move on and find someone else who's capable of being faithful and loving and kind. Or at least, like, throw a brick through his windshield. A guy who loves sunsets. Oh, and walks on the beach. Stop! You're making me puke. Um, sucker girl, like, here's what you do. Tell everyone that your best friend's got these, like, really gross underarm zits and then, like, spray paint boil butt all over her car. Yeah! She can't do that! Like, sure she can. It's easy. All she needs is a spray can. But that's so wrong! You've got to talk to your friend. Hi. How can I help you? I, like, really messed up my father's car, and I'm afraid to tell him. Ugh. Ditch the car across town and tell him it was stolen. That way, you can blame it on the car thief. Kirsty, are you crazy? If he lies about the car being stolen, he could go to jail. Give me the mic! Give me the mic! I'm not finished yet. Uh, 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 give, give me that old... Dead meat, man. When I get my hands on Dylan. Ugh! Ugh! Guys, this is bad. Real bad. Guess who my driving student is? Ah! Yeah, and then when I found out that you were gonna be my driving instructor, I said no way! He said, like, yes way. Casey, quit talking. Keep your eyes on the road. Watch out! <laughs> ah! uh, would you, like, calm down, okay? I know what I'm doing. I mean, like, you're first than Kirsty telling me what to do. Stop! <laughs> you don't have to yell, you know. I can't, like, hear you. you describe your style? Um, black leather, spikes, you know, kind of like the girl next door. Got it. Roberta, it's morphin' time. Ragin', that guy I'm crushing on won't even talk to me, so do whatever you want. Turn me into a blonde fashion doll if you have to. Yasmin, meet the new Roberta. <gasps> so, what do you think? Super styling. I look like you. Um, not quite. Now, are you ready to rock the world? Uh, uh. Or maybe after we go over a few things. Just say, look, ferret face, stuff it. You can't say that to your teacher. You'll get expelled, and then you'll never graduate or get a good job, and when you're 30, you will wonder where your life went. <sighs> Roberta, you gotta lose the gum. Okay, you're on a date. Guys love to talk about themselves, so start by asking him a question. Um, does food ever get stuck in your tongue, stud? 
Ew! Hi, my cat died today. Get a new one. Next! You didn't give me a chance to reply! We're supposed to be helping people. Cat girl, if you want to talk, call me on my cell at 555-0124. You are like such an idiot. Now all these losers are going to be like calling you in the middle of the night. Talk to me. I do not like being called a loser. You're not a loser. You're seeking advice to improve your life. So like, what's your problem? Well, no one likes me. Loser! Loser, loser! Don't you dare hang up on him. Quit it! Go break it! Cry baby loser, loser! 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 Hey! I was like listening to that! What did I tell you about keeping your eyes on the road? No radio, no talk. Just focus! You are like so bossy. Drive! Parking lot is like so boring. I want to go in the freeway. Oh, forget it. We're staying right here in this parking lot. Uh, Dylan, man, when I find him. That is so sad. <laughs> then what happened? Excuse me, Chloe. Have you seen Dylan lately? Relax, Dylan. It's only me. I knew that. You're not still hiding from Rock. Me? No way. Not me. Um, hand me that menu. Enough already. How's about I teach you a little self-defense? You teach me? <laughs> yeah, right. So when can we start? not about me project <laughs> it's great our audience is up 30 percent <laughs> that's awesome i know it's really slamming if only i could just stop thinking about those poor callers <gasps> poor little lisa all the kids just keep teasing her about her mustache <laughs> how about you Well, I'm stoked about my project. I've turned a biker chick into... A biker chick? Roberta, what happened? You ruined my life, that's what happened. That dude I was crushing on said he hated the new me, and the only reason he didn't ask me out before was because he thought I was too hot for him. Now he says I'm too stylish and suck up like I'm so miserable. <laughs> I hate you! What was I thinking? How could I have been so wrong? Don't worry, cool cat. I am so here for you. You just sit down and tell me all about it. What if Rock attacks me? Ugh, please! 
If Rock attacks from the front, fend him off with your feet. Watch. Now you try. Got it. Since you are incapable of listening, I am going to show you how to drive. But I want to drive. No way! Never again! This car is my parents' prized possession. If I get one scratch on it, I'm dead. Dead. Get it? No more. Gone. So shut up! Don't say a word. Just sit there and don't move. I think you can manage that. Yeah. Oh, just let me at him. Dylan, I wish you'd just give up this whole idea of fighting Rock. Uh-oh. No way. I'm gonna make him wish he never crossed the deal, man. <laughs> Say your prayers, Dill man. so fast you want a piece of me too uh no man we're cool so where do you learn karate <laughs> dude i was born to kick butt hey jade roberta i'm so sorry i messed things up with that guy you like hey it's cool at least that freaky makeover got his attention he's decided i must be wacko so he asked me out slamming yo rock Express yourself, girlfriend. Pull over now, you hear me? Uh, you can't make me, you can't make me. After all, he is your brother. Give him another chance. Fill his sneakers with rotten eggs. Like, what's your problem? Like, I've got this backseat driver, except that she's in the front seat, and she's like a total control freak. I mean, look at what she's like saying to me right now. Stop talking on the phone! Pull over! Stop! Give me that! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Give me the phone. See what I mean? Like, totally, Casey. <gasps> like, how did you know it was me? Well, if I were you, I'd tell Miss Bossy Pants to, like, walk already. You are going down. My, my, temper, temper. Oh, my gosh. Is that you, Bunny Boo? Oh, so, as I was, like, Stop. saying, pull over. Stop! <laughs> Angel, 
Your show made headlines. Auto accident unfolds on Teen Hotline Radio. Uh, not awesome. I'm banned from my parents' car for three months. Oh, Bunny Boo, that's terrible. Sit down and tell me all about it. Chloe! Sorry, <laughs> force of habit. Okay, so Not About Me Week wasn't the best idea I had as school president, but at least we got a Scorching Magazine article out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody now.